He just got it. Going that way. Watch out, boot. Hooked up. I'm just trying to pump right now. Fish is coming up. Just trying to get him up, trying to get him up. We're up on the wreck, and I got a Cuda. Came out to a Cobia spot and dropped a bait, got eight, and we got a beautiful fish on. It's just not a Cobia. It's a good old Cuda. Stinky Cuda. Woo! Nice, look at that circle hook in his eye. <laughs> nice, he did not cut me off. Look at that circle hook, mustad circle hook right in the corner of the eyeball. But he got hooked, he didn't break me off. Pretty sick. There he is. He's all lit up. Ocean Cooter right there. Look at those nasty teeth. Is he gonna open his mouth? I don't know. There you go. <laughs> Whoa, don't do that. Don't handle a Cooter like that, especially when they're alive, because anything could happen really nasty. Well, let's let him go, guys. Let's get a better fish. Head first, dunk him. He's good to go. All right, let's get another fish. Oh. Did you eat it? Hooked up, I think. Let's go, says all. Something is coming up quick, though. Kuda City. Kuda City. That's all right. I don't know how we're hooking them and they're not cutting me off, but that's okay. Oh, just broke, just broke. Get him, get just him. Broke. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I got my circle hook back. <laughs> that doesn't happen too often. Fish breaks off in the water and you still manage to get it. He was halfway in the net and Brian ended up using his skills and got him in the boat. This yeah. is the Cobia spot. This is uh, sand, no, what's it called? Sand pile. Yep. We figured we'd give it a shot, nice and calm today in the west wind, full moon. And, uh, but no Cobia, just full of cooties, so. Gonna do something else. Which is normal, this is a great spot to bend rods. If you wanna catch cooties with your family and your kids and stuff, a lot of fun. They jump, they're very acrobatic, put up a good fight. It's a lot of fun. There we go. Got my hook back. All right, let's let this bad boy go. Another nice cuda in the boat. All the ocean cudas are all lit up and they're so stinky. Shark bait. All right, let's let him go. Watch my toe sizzle. Sorry. <laughs> they're very alive. And now I'm covered in freaking stinky cuda. Go, buddy, go. There he goes. <laughs> Ugh, I just cleaned this. <laughs> Ugh. All right, let's go get some other fish besides a stinky cuda. <laughs> So now we're down, we're way close to shore now because we got a west wind today, so we got flat calm conditions. We're just cruising the shoreline looking for fish, looking for bait. And we just came across a bait school and some birds, and the birds kind of put us on the fish. We got, oh, I just lost a bunch. And his tail just got cut off. <laughs> Big old cuda. Jeez. I was just catching stringers. As soon as the sun, as soon as the camera comes on, different story. <laughs> No way I'm gonna get this fish out. We gotta move in. Can't hear you. We gotta move in. There's no way I'm gonna get a fish out. I'm gonna break off on this this ladder. Oh gosh. Fish is under there. Oh gosh. Go, go, go. Ah. Crap. To the ladder, to the ladder. Big snook to the ladder. Got him out. Trolley motor. Watch it crash, crash, crash. Got him out. Let's get a net. Nice snook. Oh, it's a redfish. Nice redfish, baby. Nice redfish. Oh, baby. sick y'all I can't believe he was the one eating that bait I'm mind blown right now heck yes that's a beautiful fish 
Let's go see if he's in the slot range. He may not, might not be. It looks that a lot is a like he is. Beautiful fish. Oh my gosh. Gorgeous red, y'all. Up here in Stewart. Fish in the dock today. Literally looking for snook. We haven't had much success doing that whatsoever. But I felt this bait getting torn up down there. And I can't believe he was eating this live pilchard. I mean, live thread bin. Pretty crazy. Wow. Tore it up with those crunchers he's got in his mouth. Circle hook, I'm spitting. I'm so excited. Ow. Let's get it measured up because he's too big. Just took off my jacket because it is blowing out here today. Took a couple pictures with this gorgeous redfish, also known as a red drum. I don't get to catch these too often. The last redfish we caught was actually Brian caught it a few months ago up here in Stewart as well. Um, his was a keeper too. We just got him on the ruler here and he is 26 and a half. I was scared. I almost thought he was going to be a little over. But gorgeous fish. You can see he's two dots on this side, one dot on that side. Really pretty colors. I mean, just look how gorgeous he is. Super cool to catch this. I am stoked right now. And we are gonna take this bad boy home. I'm just shocked. They usually eat like cut mullet, you know, cut. Woo! He slipped out of my hands. It's flippy. Lucky he's staying in the boat. <laughs> mm -hmm. They are very hardy fish, by the way, too. Doesn't mean you keep them out of water forever, just that they live forever out of water. They are hardy. They got tough, tough scales. Gorgeous fish. I just can't believe I pulled them out of that dock. We almost crashed. It was insane. So great way to start the day. We got a couple more hours out here. Let's see what else we can do. Yeah, we're looking for snook, but I'll take a redfish any day, baby. Heck yeah. So pretty. Babe, I don't want to lose it. Oh, fish on, fish on. Woo, just picked up the rod out of the rod holder. It just went off. I have no idea what it is. Got the rod, actually the drag set super light. Woo. Taking a run there. Woo! That was a nice little screaming run, but the drag is very light. We're gonna see what happens here. Woo! This was a chunk of thread fin that we put out, and we put it out mainly because we caught that redfish earlier, and redfish like to eat chunks, particularly dead, dead chunks of whatever it might be. I have no idea what it is. Might be a big old catfish. That would be pretty funny. But we're on the gorgeous sailfish flats over here. And we got crystal clear blue water today. All right, fish is coming in. It's a sharky. He got a sharky. I thought it might be a shark. All right. Another species How big? though. He's like, he's probably a bonnet. There's a couple different kinds of sharks that live on the flats. Um, I don't know actually in this area, but in general, lemon sharks are known to live on the flats. A lot of sharks, when they're young and juvenile, they live on the flats to you know grow, and then they leave and they go to the ocean. This looks like a big old bonnet head. Wow. That is big for a bonnet head. That is head. a big bonnet head. So these are a common shark that you would catch on the flats. Anywhere, particularly in Florida. Florida Keys, Key Biscayne, over here in Sailfish Flats, and Stewart. And that is a big bonnet head. They don't get much bigger than that. You frisky little dude. Come here. Boom. That is a big one. Yeah, it is. That is a big, big one. There. Wow, look at how big he is. Yeah, that's a huge bonnet head. <laughs> that might be my PV bonnet head. That's your PP bonnet head. Personal best bonnet head right there. For got, real. They got pretty dots on them. Let them calm down for a second. And then uh, we'll get this hook popped out. Surprised he didn't break me off. Woo, chill out, buddy. We're letting you go. Urgh, so powerful. There we go. Here's my bonnet head. You see all those pretty dots on him, though? He's so pretty. But of course, they feel like sandpaper. And you can see that hook is inhaled there. And they got that wide kind of, almost looks like a hammerhead shark face, but it's not. It's a bonnet head. So we'll just go ahead and let that cut that, and that hook will rust out, and he'll be a go, okay. Let's use these, um, do you want to pop it, or do you want to cut it? Uh, I think it's, yeah, I think you're right. It's way down there. Yeah. Let's use our Smith pliers. Nice. Right over here. Get a little pliers down low. All right. So you can see those teeth there. They're not the craziest teeth in the world, but if he gets a chunk of you or if bite you, you're in trouble. Stinky shark. Whew. Let's let him go. There he goes. See how fine they are? They are such a hardy creature. They can live, honestly, for minutes out of the water, but he's gone. 
We got them out, got them done. It's time to move to the next location. Let's go. Oh, you got eight, you got eight. You got eight. Back me up. Back me up, it's going around that corner. We need to close it. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. We're gonna front. break off. Go I'm opening the bail. Okay, okay, okay. He's gonna go into that, that dock over there. Go, go, hurry, go, go. hurry, hurry. Come here, fish. I think I got him wrapped. I got fish on though. We're gonna see what it is. Woo! It's a nice little run right there. We're actually out of the wind right now. It feels so nice being out of the wind. But now we're gonna see what I've got. It's either a snook or a big jack. But it feels like he's wrapped really weird. It's a big jack, nice. Always take a nice fight from a big jack. Heck yeah. Another fish in the boat. Well, he's not here yet, I'm jinxing it. Taking me around, follow your fish. Yeah, buddy. That's a solid jack right there. Heck yeah, nice assortment of fish today, guys. Check it out. So we're still on that snook mission and the snook just don't like me today. For whatever reason, we have not got a single snook bite. Come here, buddy. Check out that gorgeous jack right there. Guys, also don't forget about my sterling silver necklaces that are custom made by me and my stone crab necklaces, which I'm currently wearing right now. If you're interested, Check out the link down below. Um, I have all that information listed. If you want to support my channel and buy one of my custom necklaces that I make, check it out. But look how lit up he is, like really light colors on him, not dark whatsoever, which tells me that he's probably an ocean jack. Solid like eight to 10 pounds maybe. It's a nice fish, so pretty. Always a fun fight, but we're gonna let this bad boy go home. I'm just gonna cut it. Oh, I just got tail slapped in the arm, that hurt. All right, here we go. Do you see they've got teeth in there? So we're just gonna put them head first. You should just kick right off. There he goes. Jeez, thanks a lot. So he slapped me in the arm with his tail and he just got me all wet. What the heck, that fish was angry. Okay, so we're gonna get back on that wall, see what else we can pull off of it. Nice. Hooked up? I think so. Ryan's hooked up. He's over there by the wall. He's coming. Looks like a. You got him? Something. You got his nice snook. Oh, he's wrapped on the gills. Okay, okay. Try not to pop. You got him? Yeah. You need help? Yeah, net. What you needed. Oh, oh! Nice. Put him with the snook in the boat. <laughs> nice job. He a little bit of baby, baby or bait. Yep. Tell them what you did. <laughs> Those big baits weren't working that good, so I put a smaller bait on there. I'm not sure if he would eat the smaller one too, but you know, I just switched around where I was putting the hook also. I had it in his butt before, and then I switched it over to his uh, nose, and you can see he quit jumping around so much. Circle hook is right in the corner here. It's a mustad circle hook. I'm trying not to hurt him or me. Not bad, that was on my bait caster. I'm gonna throw him right in. Why nice. do you release them so weird? I don't know. I just throw them in. <laughs> oh, I got a fish. Oh, Woo! sick. Sick. Woo! <laughs> watch the wall. Watch the wall. Woo! Off the wall. I know. Whoa, look at all the oh around him. Look at oh. a little snook. Oh my God, Brian, we got to get off the wall. That was all right, that was pretty crazy. That's the spot. Look, look, right there. It's right behind him. Yeah. Three, Holy four. Crap. Look. It's like yeah. mine. You see it? Yeah. I don't know if the camera's gonna see it, but I can see it. Look. Yeah. Tons of snook down there. Holy cow. They're not leaving him. No. They're following him right up. Interesting. We can catch a spot right now. Some of those are nice fish. All right, we're gonna, oh, there oh. we go. Good, good, good. That's all right. That's perfect. He's too small to keep. He's a small male. It's almost spawning season. We are going to, uh, that's fine. I played with him long enough, just looking at all the fish. And so, good release. I mean, that's fine. We don't need him. He jumped. He jumped like a bunch a of times. He was hungry. Looks like they're like stacked up like right in here. Yep. I feel like the current should be going the other way. Yeah. Oh, oh big 
Big that... blow up, big blow up. They're in the middle. We just had that snook, look. Right there. Oh, oh he's oh. There he is. He's still... right back out. <laughs> Sick. They're on fire right now. Oh, snook. A little snook. Another one got it. There's two, three. He ate it. No, he didn't. Oh, no, he didn't. Two, two of them. Oh, he's got it in his mouth now. Yeah. That's how you get the hook up. <laughs> Woo! Oh. <laughs> he's right here still. Yep. <laughs> oh, he wants it. Put it back. He almost ate it. He came up. <laughs> Crazy. Okay guys, it's time to fillet the beautiful redfish. We got home in a timely manner, but at the same time, you know, we have a lot of stuff to do here around the house. I've been working on orders all day, sending out the necklaces that you guys have been buying from me, which I appreciate. Thank you so much. And I wish I would do this earlier in the day, but you know, we're just so busy with orders during the day that I don't have time. So now I'm gonna rush through this because it's the time the mosquitoes come out. They love my blood. I am like a mosquito attractor. So let's dive right into this beautiful redfish. Still super happy we caught him and that he was just in the slot range. I mean, I wish that could happen with a snook, but I will take a redfish any day. So let's just dive right into this. They look really soft, but they're actually one of the hardest fish to fillet. They are, have armor plates. They're giant, giant fish scales are insane. I'll show you in a little bit, but we're just gonna dive right into this. I'm actually gonna clean off some of this gunk real fast. Just wipe them down, get some of that fish slime off his body. And I'm using a super sharp knife today. I am a lefty, there you go. I am a lefty, by the way. Look at that crazy scale. So I am a lefty, and that's why it might look weird to a lot of you guys. But what I'm doing is I'm just like scraping off some scales right here so I can make an area where I can basically insert the knife. Gee whiz. I don't want to dull my knife too bad, so I want to really just, you see how I just did that? So now once I get in there, really want to make a cut up towards the head like so. And again, just like really tough. And if you think about it, they live by the oyster beds. They live everywhere where you see just a lot of crazy hard structure. So now that I made that cut, I'm gonna turn the knife right back down around and follow that backbone. Just watch all these crazy scales come off. And keep your blade underneath the body or underneath the skin. So that way you're not cutting directly through fish scales and you're not gonna dull your knife as quickly. But like I always say, I sound like a broken record with this when I fillet fish, but a sharp knife is key to success and a dull knife is very dangerous. So always make sure it's super, super sharp. And this is my seven inch go-to blade. If any, a fish any bigger than this, I would use a little bit of a bigger blade, like a nine inch, but the seven inch is perfect. I'm so excited to have red fish. Don't get to catch them too often. And they're such a fun, hard fighting fish. All right. And then we're just gonna go over the rib cage bones over here. Super, some pin bones right there I could just cut. And then we're just gonna follow down. And I'm really bending that blade, as you can see too, getting around those bones so I can get as much meat as I possibly can. And then we're gonna slab this sucker off. Oh, look at that. Look at that gorgeous meat, heck yeah. Oh yes, beautiful fish. There we go. Look at that gorgeous piece of meat right there. Check it out, I love it. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and just slab it off real fast. And then I'm gonna show you one more thing after I get the other side off. We're gonna use every ounce of this redfish as we can. And I know a lot of you guys are gonna tell me, leave the skin on, do a half shell. We have done that before. Check out that video. We'll go ahead and link it here for y'all to see our redfish half shell catch clean cook. But today we're just gonna fillet it normally. We like to remove the skin. We just do the traditional floor it away. But this skin is armor, really thick skin. And there's our beautiful fillet. So I'll just knock out some of that red meat. But I'm gonna put it to the side for now, but I always knock out that red meat, especially when it's a little thicker like that. We'll do it inside the house and just remove that dark piece in the middle. But he is good to go. I'm gonna get off the other side here, and then I'm gonna show you how to remove a red fish throat. 
done filleting the redfish, I got the redfish carcass here. I'm using my 10 inch diamond sharpening steel just to make sure it's extra sharp because I am going to cut the throat out and I wanna make sure I'm able to cut through the skin right here. All right, here we go. So you see I left the rib cage bones intact, so we're really not gonna eat this portion over here. But what I would do is I just go right underneath the uh, pec fin, like so, make a cut, angle down. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Underneath the pec fin, make the cut, angle down. Make sure those two cuts connect right here. There we go. And then right here, I'll just cut off this portion. So we're not gonna eat that. So this in Louisiana is a delicacy. I'm not from Louisiana, but I do know that you guys call it saltwater quail in that area. So let me know if I'm correct, but pretty sure saltwater quail, redfish throat, whatever you wanna call it. I'm gonna go ahead and just make a cut like right down the middle. So that way we can just open it up and we're gonna lay it down like that and cook it. That's gonna be delicious. So comment below if you've ever had a redfish throat or a saltwater quail, and uh, I'm pretty excited. So let's go in the house and meet up with Cooking with Pudding. Another great job cleaning that redfish jar sizzle. Welcome guys to another edition of Cooking with Pudding. And today, we're gonna keep it kind of light and uh, dietetic and healthy and tropical. It's gonna be awesome. I'm gonna sear that redfish in a pan on both sides, and then we're gonna have a delicious avocado and corn and lime juice kind of like a relish or a salsa on top it's going to be absolutely incredible let me show you what i'm going to make the salsa first or the relish let me show you what i got going on i got everything pre-prepared we got corn we got avocado of course the recipe we'll put in the uh description below and this is basil from dar sizzles garden tomatoes from dar sizzles garden looks so good oh let's get all those in there onions from publix and I got some red wine vinegar, some fresh limes, and a little bit of olive oil. Whoa, it's gonna be good. Oh, and we need, Darcy says <laughs> we need some salt and pepper. You know, you can always add salt and pepper later to taste. You know, pudding does it. And I love this, I love this thing. And we're gonna use a little sea salt, because we're stylish. We'll get some more later and stir it up. Whoa, look at that, guys. Look at the color. Get it in the light. Oh, looks so good and healthy. Nice. All right, Dr. Sizzle. Shine on my pretty face. All right, let's get to the fish. Just to view real quickly from maybe from last week, when Darcy brings the fish in, I just make sure all the little the red lines out and just any bones and wash it off real quick with fresh water. And I got it all spread out here with uh, salt. I got salt and pepper on it. And I'm gonna cook this with just a little bit of actually coconut oil. And again, this is the great pan you guys got me. A couple tablespoons of oil. Pan's preheated. I'm gonna put the fattest pieces in the middle. And again, 10 minutes per inch for fish. We're gonna keep it in here for three, four minutes. Then just flip it. We're gonna cook the, the throat at the same time or the next batch. So we'll see when it's time to flip. Take a peek in here, Sizzle. It's been about five minutes. Come look at this star sizzle. Uh, I flipped these over a little too close, you know, a little too close. Uh, you can see the white on the edges. That means it's almost time to flip. These were really white. And so I'm gonna even flip this one like right now. And the key to fish is, you know, it's different sizes. So, you know, you gotta flip it at different times and take it off at different times. So we're almost done. All right, guys, just about done cooking this fish. Uh, at the end, when you know it's done, you can stick a fork through it, like I always tell you. Also, it's gonna start flaking. You can see this redfish is flaking like crazy. We're gonna start taking it off, and then as soon as this throat is done, we're gonna make our plates. Pretty excited, it looks delicious. All right, guys, we're pretty much all set here. I'm gonna look at this, we got the fish is looking good. We'll make this Darcy's plate. Whoa. Delicious. All right, we'll see you at the table. All right, guys, pudding is ready to eat. He's got two baby forks. I don't know what he's doing with two baby forks. I like baby forks and spoons. Got I get lots, more, more bites that way. Lots of baby forks. Baby forks. Holy cow. 
Let's right. test it. Let's dive in. I'm starving. I'm literally salivating right now. I'm so hungry. This is like, I didn't have any before either. What? Well, making these videos is great because we get to try like all these recipes we would never try otherwise. Because we're making awesome videos for you guys and we want to spice up the variety every once in a while. So it's nice to try different stuff. And this is like gluten free. This is like super, super healthy. This is like... Keto, I think it's keto. Yeah, keto, sorry. Except the corn. Keto, I used to, right. I used to be in great shape. Corn is, is obviously not keto, it's a sugar or a grain, but uh We need to get good. back in shape. I need at least. Let's try, I'm gonna try the uh, the throat. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, so good. And by the way, I had some, a few of you fans asking about cooking with pudding, and if we have any products for cooking with pudding. And we don't have any currently, but we are in the works with working on something, which I'm not gonna get any further into that, but stay tuned. And I also created a little section in my Amazon store with cooking with pudding, so you can go see like what he likes to use when we are cooking and yeah. when he's in the videos and stuff, so. Like the pan. Like the pan. The Vitamixer. The bidet he loves. The bidet, the BB-1000. Yeah, all the awesome stuff. So it's just like a, a mixture of the stuff that pudding likes. I'm just gonna say, but I'm not gonna talk about the bidet. Don't. I, I'm happy to answer bidet questions, but it's this it's the key to life. Anyway, the throat's delicious. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Everything's good. It's dietetic. A little different than the actual filet, but like, either way, amazing. Yeah, it's good. It's not like it like the cheeks are a totally different type of meat. It's almost more like a scallop. But these is more like the regular fish to me. Yeah. Which super is still, good. You don't want to waste it, it's a lot of meat. Super good. And I caught the redfish, which is awesome catching your own groceries. Cook, cut the basil and the tomato out of my garden that I grew, which is pretty cool. And I just feel like, I feel, it feels good to like make your, cook, go catch your own fish and go grow your own stuff and eat it on the table. It's pretty special and yeah. So anyways. Good job. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll drink Sorry, that. Sorry, I'm spinning. Oh, what you even just said. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We got a slot redfish, didn't catch as much as we would like, but we got a lot of epic adventures coming out real soon. Can't wait for this wind to go away here in Florida. I'm over it. But until our next adventure, follow your dream and keep, keep on, on catching. catching. I didn't even open mine yet. Oh, I'm so suck. lame. I suck. And wash your hands. And wash your hands.